Hi, this is a quick walkthrough through this spreadsheet that I developed for looking at Apalco tariffs and their impacts on customers. Um, here we have the 2014 uh, tariffs. So uh, 8 cents a kilowatt, 8.52 cents a kilowatt hour for the first tier and, and so forth. Um, and then we have the two 2015 planned uh, tariffs, which are the tariffs that are that we're currently paying uh, and which are on, on Apalco's website. That, that would be this um, 2015 budget. And then this column uh, here is the one of, of interest, and this is where we can try out different tariff structures. Uh, on the, these graphs show the, uh, the planned and the alternative tariff structures. On the graphs, the blue lines indicate the consumption, the average consumption of each decile. The top graph is the winter, the bottom graph is the summer. Um, the same graphs are repeated here on the right hand side, but this is for whatever alternative rate structure we want to look at. The box and whisker charts show the impact of the rate on each different customer decile. So what I mean by decile is the customers are broken um, down into 10 different groups based on how much they consume. The, this decile to the left is the um, customers that consume the most amount of electricity and this is the decile of that consumes the least. In the 2015 budget um, we can see that um, those that use the most um, will have the least uh, will have a pretty small impact to their to their rates whereas those that use the least amount of electricity have a significant impact. There's a lot of different lines in these different tariff options and uh, look at them closely. They include different tier kilowatt hours, um, different dollars per kilowatt hour for the different tiers. They include the opportunity for a winter and a summer minimum charge, uh, a certain amount of kilowatt hours that you're billed regardless of how much you consume, um, a facilities charge, uh, as well as um, price elasticity. Um, which is the the uh, expected effect of conservation in which consumers will use less electricity as the rate goes higher and higher. I um, assume that the price elasticity for tier three for the highest consumption bracket um, is is higher than um, than for tier one, but the user can put in whatever levels they want to in, in, in these boxes. Let's look at some different um, impacts. So this is what uh, the rate that Jerry uh, Whitfield proposed, or, or a close proximity of it. Um, and you can see that the impact is actually much, much more level than, than the Palco 2015 budget. Um, another one that we can look at is, I'm going to the, um, what, In the scenario manager, I've just pulled up um, a different option, which is the old, uh, what I would call an alternative rate structure, which has um, 10 cents per kilowatt hour for the first um, thousand kilowatt hours. After that, 12.5 um, up until the next um, 2,000 total kilowatt hours, uh, 15 cents a, a kilowatt hour um, as the tier three bracket for. Uh, winter, and in summer the tariffs would be the same, but the the um, tier levels are different. So 750 and 1500 kilowatt hours, respectively. Um, and I'm suggesting a, in this case, a 16 dollar per month facilities charge, um, summer minimum of 150 kilowatt hours a month, and a winter minimum charge of 200 kilowatt hours a month. And here you can see that the um, the revenues for this alternative structure um, produces enough to pay uh, Apalco's revenue requirements as well as the residential portion of the $600,000 shortfall that we currently have. And if you look at the impact um, over here on, on that uh, rate structure, it's similar to what um, Jerry Whitfield's uh, had, but um, a bit more um, impact 
on the smallest con customers, which I think is, is fair um, to ask the smallest consumers to pay a bit more of their facilities charge. One other option that was discussed in the uh, board packet materials was looking at an increase in overall rates, and I'll show um, what that would do. And, um, and in that case, we would just be increasing um, from 8.55 cents a kilowatt hour up to um, basically at adding two cents a kilowatt hour for everybody's electricity. And, um, and again, um, the impacts I think are, are much more fair than the 2015 budget. Um, you can see that that would mostly impact um, folks that uh, use more electricity and, and the folks that use least amount of electricity would be impacted less as you would expect for an, an increase in just the kilowatt hour charge. So that's the spreadsheet. I encourage you to um, try around uh, different scenarios and also to make your own scenario. So you're not restricted to um, the three here. You can put in any, any levels you want. Um, for example, if you were interested in experimenting with what it was like to have 11 cents a kilowatt hour electricity um, for the first, first level and then 12 and then 13, we could see um, what that impact would be and immediately see those changes. Um, Thanks a lot for uh, watching, and I look forward to your feedback and comments.